Alright guys, so, if you would like to find instructions for Lego sets like how I did here, all you have to do is search Lego instructions in your um, Google bar. Then you just hit the first thing that pops up, digital building instructions, lego.com. You click that link right there, and boom, it'll send you right to this link, lego.com, where you enter the set number or a keyword for the set. So it's a four to seven digit number or a keyword to see all building instructions. And then you can literally just build it from the pieces you have at home, like what I did here with the 1989 Batmobile. Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm talking about the 1989 LEGO Batmobile. So, this was actually constructed using LEGO.com's building instructions that are online. So I looked up a set that was roughly the LEGO Batmobile I wanted to build from the 89 movie. And then I decided, okay, I'm gonna build this and then I'll edit it a little bit. You know, change it up a little bit. So without further ado, this is what I ended up with. So, what I what was originally in the build? Well, it originally had this basic look, a nice long skinny look. It originally had guns that came up, engines here, and a basic look like this. Now, what I have changed. Originally, there was a bat symbol right here. Now there is a giant engine, like in the movie, if you watch the movie, um, I'll pull up an image right now, that there is an actual engine right there, a big old engine down the middle. Also, I uh, added, I made the guns a bit different because they use the stud guns and I'm not a big fan of those. So I prefer the, um, the flick missiles is what some people call them. I don't really know what you call them, but this is what I prefer. The ones that are like this. Let's see, um, they're not shooting too, they don't shoot as good as the stud missiles, but they're really just for show. It's not like you're actually trying to like win a battle or anything. So I figured it was okay. Uh, what else did I change? I also changed the windshield. The windshield was originally a more boxy, squarish shape, and so I changed it up a little bit, plus heightened it a little bit because their Batman had a lot shorter horns, whereas in the movie, this Batman has long horns, so I used a long-horned Batman. Um, any other changes? I also added clips for the batarangs and um, made the lights blue instead of yellow. Now. As for features, um, there's really only one big, really cool feature, and it's that this back part spins as you move the wheel. It spins with it using uh, some gears that you can see right under there, like so. So that is the LEGO 1989 Batmobile. Hope you liked this video, and uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you have not yet. Um, one more quick thing before I go. Uh, the original one used dragon wing more like pieces, and I decided I'm not using dragon wing like pieces, so I decided to use these pieces from another Batman set, and I think they look pretty good. So, all in all, this is the Lego Batmobile. I'm not going to kill you. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to tell all your friends about me. What are you? I'm Batman. <laughs>